woman thinks, okay, I need to find my own thing. Yes. Separate from the husband. That's what you meant as yes. opposed to, okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, you can stop the emails and all that right now. Right. Just so we're clear. Um, yeah, so it's, it's when... Well, you, could, you could send them. I'm still <laughs> right. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 423rd episode of Potty Talk. And hey, I've been looking forward to this episode mm-hmm. here when I saw it in the lineup. The okay. title of this episode is Three Things You Must Do, mm. all right, when building a plumbing business with your spouse. With your spouse, with your honey, with oh, your better other. Do we have any experience with that? <laughs> nope. It is a train wreck. <laughs> Stay away from it. No. No, it's not. <laughs> no, in fact, it's the best thing, mm-hmm. all right? Um, hey, it's good to have you here. It can here. be the best or it can be the worst. It, well, it can feel you like know? the worst at times mm-hmm. because, you know. If you don't it, do it right. Right. Well, I'm mm-hmm. gonna I'm gonna share three things that that you can do. Three simple things you can do mm-hmm. that really make it uh, go really you know well for you. Yes. You know, we've seen time and time again. Of course, speaking from our experience, we have worked. We just experienced. Mm-hmm. We just, just exper- celebrated oh, mm-hmm. our thirtieth wedding anniversary. We did thirty years? We got married when we were eight. That's right. <laughs> you know. We're mm. kissing cousins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. How'd you mm-hmm. put up with me for 30 I years? Have zero well, over 30 years. I know. I'm I know. a saint. I'm a lucky man. <laughs> he who finds Just a wife kidding. finds a good thing. Mm-hmm. That's from the good book. Mm-hmm. And it is so true. <laughs> it is also very powerful, not only in life, all right, men, mm-hmm. but in business. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, and of those 30 years, we worked together. 29. 29 of those years. 24 7. Man, that's crazy. I know. Mm-hmm. So we've we've gone through a few things, mm-hmm. experienced a thing or two. Right. We right? didn't we didn't um, experience any hiccups at all. Not at all. Nope. It was a smooth, smooth ride. Smooth ride the whole time. That's right. every, every day was unicorns and and flowers and birds singing and, and little puppies. Just, we were just holding little well, puppies. I know. And we just we would skip off to the office together <laughs> <Right>. and <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you know, <laughs> hey, but it's a very powerful thing. In fact, mm-hmm. in the comments here, um, you know, mm-hmm. please, uh, please comment if you're, if you're watching, watching the podcast mm-hmm. here, let us know if you've, uh, are a, what we call a PPC mm-hmm. a plumbing power couple. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or pro, pu- you know, for our HVAC and mm-hmm. our electrical and our other trades or whatever, you may be a, what we call a, a pro power couple. Pro power couple. Okay. Yeah. So let's or, know if you are, how long you've been working together. Maybe also, um, you know, what's, what's one of the things you struggle with? Um, we'd love to hear that as well. What's something you struggle with um, regarding working with your spouse? But there's nothing more powerful. Mm-hmm. And this, this is what we really, we, we see it all the time with our clients. And now we have hundreds, I mean, just time and time and time and time and time and time and time again, mm-hmm. that, you know, the guy will, you know, is, when the trade is struggling by himself, mm-hmm. as soon as his wife comes on board, mm-hmm. all right, all of a sudden things take off. Right. And it just, it, it makes total sense. Mm-hmm. You know, you got, you got uh, divided energies, you know, you can divide and conquer, right. uh, div- um, different abilities. Okay. Well, it's so hard right. for, I'm a plumber turned business owner to do everything himself. It's, exactly. it's, it's impossible, especially if you're still in the field. It literally is impossible. It'll make you crazy. Right. So, exactly. And why are you out? It's great for the business, but it can be hard on the relationship. Yes. Okay. If not done right, and we can attest to that. Right. So, but but here, I'm going to give you three things. By the time we, we finish this podcast, you have three things, three simple things. I, I guarantee on to you, you implement these things, things run a lot smoother, lot smoother. and you're going to grow a lot faster. Mm-hmm. Okay? okay. So, all right, let's hit it. All right. Number one. Yeah. <laughs> number one, define roles. Okay. Mm-hmm. You've got to define your roles. Okay, in your business, and also it's going to affect you know, also your, your personal life as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, both of you are now in this together. Right. Okay, and guys, a lot of times we see this. It, most of the time, it's, it seems overwhelmingly it's, you know, it's the guy, all right, that has the trade, mm-hmm. the trade business, and then then the wife will come on board. Right. Okay, she's not coming on board as an employee. Or, or she's not coming on board as um to your plumbing business. Right. Mm-hmm. Not, not the little lady coming on to help you with your plumbing business or no. whatever it is, okay? <laughs> That's one good way to get a knock on the right. head. <laughs> well, and it, it, doesn't, it doesn't work out that way. I mean, mm-hmm. it doesn't, you know, um, you, you lose the power there, okay? But Well, and it's shared, right? I mean, right. because you get married, um, you get married you be- to become one flesh. Right. Not two separate people, you're one flesh. So with your business, it's the same thing. It's both of your businesses, or it's both of your business. How do you say that? Right. 
Both yeah. of you own own the business. Uh-huh. It's fifty fifty. Um, regardless, husband, if you've been the one that you know you got the business for ten years and the wife has had another job or something um, outside the home, or maybe she's been a stay at home mom um, and she hasn't been involved in the business, but now all of a sudden the kids are in school and so she can she can now join you. Doesn't matter. It's a, the business is both of yours fifty fifty. Right. You have to go at it looking like that. Right. And I mean, I want to I want to go here anyways because it's, okay. it's what because it's a societal thing here. Mm. Um, it's uh, the, you were created to work together, mm. period. Mm. You were created to work together. God put Adam and Eve in the garden. Okay. To and, work together. And Adam by himself, I mean, everything was great, all <laughs> looking at everything, you know. Except. And it was good. It was good. Mm-hmm. And then there's Adam and something's missing here. He ain't <laughs> good by himself. Mm-hmm. So it created Eve mm-hmm. to help him, all right, mm-hmm. work the garden together. Mm-hmm. The garden is really, you know, the life, everything, okay, right. together. Mm-hmm. All right, so our society, we, we've, been, we've been conditioned and taught this lie. In fact, we can see it. The decline in our society is when women entered the market, the working place, mm-hmm. you know, as far as careers. Mm-hmm. Our society, you can see it, or tracking down. It just started, started crashing, mm-hmm. okay, because we separated the power. Right. Now, and I'm not saying you keep a little lady in the kitchen and all that, ladies. That's <laughs> not what this is all. I'm, no. I'm married to a very strong woman, in fact. Um, she's the one who likes to watch the, the movies where someone's being waterboarded and tortured and she's into that. And I'm looking for a rom-com, you know, whatever. So I'm married to a very tough and capable woman, just like Eve. Okay. Women are very tough and capable. Mm-hmm. Okay. But the power was meant to be together. Yes. Not separate. And so, you don't. Know, again, it's not about, you know, it ain't about plumbing or whatever, ladies. Mm-hmm. So you're not no. coming in because you love plumbing. All right. In fact, even the guys you love plumbing or you love, you know, you know, we, we had that conversation before, mm-hmm. but it's, it's to work that business together, mm-hmm. that, that kingdom, you're building that kingdom together. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so it's very powerful Yes, and it's very exciting. Um, it, it can be exciting in lots of different it, yes. ways. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah. Like you said, um, it, how do I say it? And I know you're probably going to get some pushback on, you know, women in the, in, in the marketplace and whatever. And yes, there, there place. are some, there, there's, there's certain times, golly, this, this is a delicate subject. Right. There are times where, you know, a wife does need to work outside the home for, for a financial standpoint well, or and for. And let me clarify on that. Okay. I'm sorry. Cause I get, cause I want, it's not that women can't work outside the homes. It's the thing of, it's my personal career. Mm. It's the okay. division where before it was, you know, even women, who worked outside the home before the time where it became the career thing. I'm Mm -hmm. my own individual career. Okay. That's a better clarification. I was, uh, you were working to get that extra income to support our family, Mm -hmm. our kingdom or our thing. Right. Right. Or as, as the woman thinks, okay, I need to find my own thing. Yes. Separate from the husband. That's what you meant as opposed to, okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. You can stop the emails and all that right now. Just so we're clear. Um, yeah. So it's it's when you can, you can send them. I'm still right. (laughs) (laughs) right. We we won't read them, (laughs) but, but, right. um, yeah, so it's a woman who's like, I need to have my own thing that's right. separate um, than my family or, or my husband. That's that's when you get into trouble, right? So if, if you guys, if you're, as a family, you've decided, you know, to start a business, whatever it is, you know, plumbing, t-shirt making, whatever it is. Right. Um, if you, as a family, decide to do that, then it's a family decision. It is a family decision. So right. if the wife chooses then um, to leave whatever career she might have, you know, teacher, nurse, whatever, um, and and come alongside the husband to work on it together. And, and that becomes your career. That becomes, um, the, the, the empire for your family. Right. right? Because it's more powerful because it is about your family. Right. It's not, for both of you, not, not separate. Right. Right. And ladies, please hear me when, when I say this, this isn't you coming to work for your husband's business. That is not what this is. If that's the attitude, then you guys need to, to have an adjustment and have a real, you know, talk about it. That if, if the, the wife does decide to, to come alongside, um, and we're talking about defining roles. Right coming alongside then it's coming alongside to now um focus on your business that you two own together and defining the roles that's like that's your first point you need to define the roles who's responsible for what right who's responsible in the business for what and you got to get that figured out that 100 percent is the very first thing um that will cause arguments where you're stepping on each other's toes or the opposite something doesn't get done because we haven't figured out who's doing what something doesn't get done and it falls through the cracks and then there's arguments there's there's yes. plenty of landmines to step in when it comes to this, but defining the roles and you have, you have to sit down and really talk about it, really talk about all the different things um, that need to be done. Now you're not going to cover 
everything, everything from right. a you know plumbing business conglomerate standpoint. But husband, you, if you've been doing this for a while, kind of you guys, you sit down and wife, you you say, okay, what what are all the things you do? And it's going to be really hard to come up with them all because it's like, okay, I freaking worked all day. I just worked 18 hours and not, what did I do? But, you know, really spend some time away from the office, away from the phones ringing, away from all that. What are the things that you husband have been doing in the plumbing business? Marketing, branding, obviously the, the, the plumbing the wife typically can't do that. Um, but name all those things, write them down. What are some things that you wish you could have time for and you haven't been able to because you've been wearing so many different hats? Start writing those things down. Get a big whiteboard or something. Write, write them down and then look in and see who best fits that role, right? If, if the wife is really good at um, spreadsheets and numbers and all those types of things, then maybe she should be the one that's handling um, the finance part of the business. You're handling the bills, handling the money coming in, handling the systems, whatever look at all those, define those roles, assign them, and then kind of talk through, okay, what what, it, what does this mean for, for you to take this? And husband, once you, just, once you decide, once you guys have decided, you know, what's the roles, then let her do it. Right. And let her do it her way. Yes. Okay. You may have some input in what, just so it brings up the speed on mm -hmm. kind of whatever, mm -hmm. but let her do, do it her way. Don't say, okay. well, this is the way I've always, always done, done it. it. Right. No, that, okay. that's not you're, how you do it. Again, you're breaking, you're, you're, you're breaking that power, okay? Mm -hmm. you, the power is in both of you going at it. And I said, I know it sounds silly, and you always kind of, you know, smirk at me when I put it this way. But when you get, okay. when you get no, big bear and mama bear headed in the same direction, nothing's going to stop you mm -hmm. because it's it's yours, right. okay? But um, don't, but husband, don't 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 stifle your wife in the right. talents and abilities abilities that she brings to the business right. right as soon as you start telling her well that's not how i've always done it or this is this you need to do it this way because this is way the blah blah, blah 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 whatever it is no let her then take the ball and run with it you know what she's probably going to be better than you on a number of those things she just is <laughs> Definitely. She just is. especially from an administrative and task standpoint typically us women are better at that not always across the board I um, always hate having to give some sort of disclaimer, but typically um, us women are, are better at that multitasking, task driven things, lists, things like that. Um, then let, let her, let her do that. Let her be the one that, that runs with the ball on those things. Right. And then, and then she's responsible for it mm -hmm. and she makes, she, she makes the call, you know, mm -hmm. nine times out of 10 on it. Yes. I mean, you know, it was a few times I know that in our relationship, you know, and in a business, I, I had the final say. Mm -hmm. But it's just, um, that doesn't mean we lord over our wives, okay, because I have the final say, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. all right? And so, you know, if you, you came up with things, so if some things like, I'm even thinking now, um, you know, I dealt, it was my responsibility to deal with the vendors. Right. But when you were a better negotiator and are a better negotiator than I am, mm -hmm. And, you know, that became apparent. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you some know. things are just so going to become apparent. Why, why have we been losing money? <laughs> because you're giving all the money away. <laughs> <You're> not, <laughs> let me handle this. Okay. All right. And so we start making money. Okay. So even though I'm dealing with the vendors, mm -hmm. the, the agreements and that kind of stuff, I'd run, I'd run through Laura. Mm -hmm. All right, because she has a better eye. She finds holes mm -hmm. in everything. <laughs> <laughs> My specialty okay. is finding problems. <laughs> Which, that causes friction, right? Mm -hmm. And Because it, it's not an employee relationship. There's mm -hmm. a personal relationship there. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole nother, you know, another game going on there. So, mm -hmm. you, you know, that's what you got to gotta work on. Yes. Okay? And we have other mm -hmm. things to work on that. Mm -hmm. So you got to define the business roles. But not only define business roles, you need to defi define your, your home roles as mm -hmm. well. That's true. So guys, you both, you both are working on this thing. And so I learned early on that I couldn't just come home and, and plop, plop in front of the TV and open up a, you know, beer and, and, you know, well, and, you and could, watch sports. I but, could, uh, but there'd be a, you know, be Brian a pot up against my head. <laughs> okay, right. Okay. Cause, cause you would you, do, you would do that once. <laughs> once right. You know, so traditional roles, um, mm -hmm. Yes. Excuse Go out me. the window. Trish, right. And I'm big, you know, we're, we're big and we talk about there, there are, there are male and female. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are men and women and mm -hmm. we have been created in a way that kind of addresses different things that the family needs. Yes. Okay. Us wives are nurturers. Right. We, we mm -hmm. are natural nurturers. nurturers. It's how we're created. It's how God created us to nurture. So we nurture our family. So more than likely the wife is going to be the one that's dealing with the kids quite a bit, right? Because who do the kids always want when they're sick? Who do the kids always want when they need money? Who's the kids that, you know, who, who 
who to this day to, to this day <laughs> our kids, our kids who are even, grown even our kids are grown up and i'm the one who dealt with the mechanical stuff and cars and all that and what is our one son just called the other day and yeah. who did he call to ask about the car yeah, some brake thing mom i'm right. having issues with my brake. <laughs> right. like, so you why never, are you you've never done anything me? with the car right. like, but it it's, it's, but we still got to call mom who when the the you know somebody scores a touchdown or whatever who do they always say hi mom so right. um so moms are the nurturers we're gonna and that's fine that's just how we're created it's nothing bad it's not wrong it's, it's whatever it's how we're it's how we're created where the husband typically gets um his self-worth from um the, what he does for a living what he does um to, to earn a living for his family to provide for his family that's that's cultural roles that's not even cultural it's just how, how god created it right um so let's not fight that let's utilize that so when it comes to defining roles at home um yeah there's going to be some things where the wife typically is going to do a little bit more but as you're you know walking through all the roles for the business write down all the things that are done at home right and wife i know you're, you're going right. i have no idea there's four million right we'll just start writing them down from you know all the stuff for the kids school and never it never failed as soon as you know school year started you've got these four thousand pieces of paper and forms and yada yada all to fill out um to getting school supplies um doctor's appointments who's going to take the kids to the doctor appointments um who's responsible for laundry who's responsible for dishes who's who's responsible for grocery shopping who's responsible for um cleaning the house right as you know making the phone ring and often is vital to your home service business that's why i'm a fan of search kings Search Kings is a Google Premier partner and have helped my clients generate leads on Google Local Services and Google Ads. If you need your phone to ring, use Search Kings and tell them Richard sent you and you need the Million Dollar Plumber VIP treatment. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Search Kings and get on track to making your phone ring today. And you hit me on a doctor's appointment. That's mm -hmm. one of those things. You're both at the office. You're right. both at the shop. Mm -hmm. You both are leading in your respective areas and responsibilities with the kid that needs to go to the doctor or yeah. the kid is something's at school. Yeah. Well, you can't always, you know, and, and my, I'm a back, you know, I'm, I'm a little older, older school. So normally it was the wife, mm -hmm. the mom who would, would take care of those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. But no, she's busy too working on, on our family business. Mm -hmm. And what, where, so we would actually, where are we at? Okay, you're at a busier time than I am. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take care right. and, and run, run them to the doctor mm -hmm. and do that kind of a thing. Yes. You got, you got to already kind of have those discussions. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, you know, with, with the home, you know, at, at home, you know, who's cooking? Who's, uh, are you cooking together? We learned to cook to, to cook together. Mm -hmm. so, so she didn't feel like she's standing in the kitchen working you know why again i'm sitting there drinking a beer watching whatever <laughs> <laughs> it's just that, that guys that, that didn't go over very well i mean no, you don't get all the other the other fringe benefits don't come your way <laughs> when you're you're behaving like that no. but but who takes you know yeah, yes who takes out the trash mm -hmm. who does the laundry mm -hmm. you know yeah and it's, uh. it's it's laying those things out again making sure that they it's totally clear and then what are some things that you can offload what are some things where you can provide um a job for someone else right um, and then offload for you and i talked about this all the time if you guys own a business together and you're both working in the business one of the first people you should hire or contractors that you hire is someone to clean your house that is numero uno and who pays who's pays for it customer pays for it every single time but that's one thing guys if you can kind of wrap your your mind around that of, of that how important that is to us women to have um a clean house or at least you know to where it's there, there's not you know fingerprints all over the, the front of the refrigerator or crumbs that are all over um the counter or on the floor or whatever you know the dust bunnies that are there the toilet seat ring you know or the toilet bowl <laughs> ring all those kinds of things that that is a thing that that for most women just drive you crazy but you're so busy if you've got kids you've got the business it, it's like man that i don't have time to do this but still as a nurturer or someone who typically is a house manager those things eat at you they really do so if you and it's it is super inexpensive you can find you know there's lots of franchises but there's also you know women that that um have their own business and they're they're just they do it by themselves you can find someone relatively inexpensive to have someone come in and clean the house and what it does to the wives um mind or just sense of what what's the word for it um well-being yeah well-being to have someone come in and, and clean the house so i i want to hear from you guys um do you have someone to come in and clean the house if not um when are you going to have someone clean the house hire someone to clean the house and then also ladies if you hire someone to clean the house don't clean the house before they get there <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, she's don't, coaching. She's don't coaching clean, now. <laughs> don't clean the house. That always We're, cracks me up. Like I, I've talked to, you know, some of the women. I finally get to, yeah. you know, hire someone and they're like, oh, the house cleaner is coming tomorrow. I got to get to clean. I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't even understand that. <laughs> no, now you might need to pick up some socks and things like that. And they've seen it all. Anyway, those are the things. Um, lawn mowing, right? Uh, for the guys. Typically, the guys are the ones that's doing the yard work. Hire somebody. Um, oil changes. All those types of things that do need to be done. That's a time zapper for you guys that someone else could do. And it frees up your time to either work on the business or spend more time with each other or on the family. Right. So b- figure all those things out. But defining roles mm-hmm. is a, a key a key thing you got to yes. do. Because if not, right. you're going to you're, it's just going to be, be blown up at each other. Yes. Right. Back back and forth. Mm-hmm. All right, and it just piles on, okay? It'll, so, it'll filter down to everything else if right. you don't have clear communication on that. Define those roles, okay. all right? Mm-hmm. Number two, planning meeting. And that's a great place to start defining roles. <laughs> yes, mm-hmm. but a weekly planning meeting. Yes. I should add that in there. Mm-hmm. Weekly, every week, <laughs> okay? For us, it was every Friday. Mm-hmm. So hard. Um, you know, we've, we've got clients we have people in the success academy and stuff and and we'll talk about plan or how was your planning meeting well Uh, um we didn't get one schedule we're like we preach and preach and preach and preach on this guys trust us please 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 trust us when we say planning meetings will change your business uh, sometimes I feel like we're talking with our kids when they were teenagers. <laughs> you know, you know, if you have teenagers, you, if you have teenagers, you know what I'm talking yeah, about right. here. You tell them, you know, all of a sudden you're the most stupid person that ever oh, lived. Oh, man. Tell you know, no kidding. What? You got to boil the water before to make hot, <laughs> whatever the thing of it, you know, whatever it is, <laughs> you know. Well, this is one of these things, too. Guys, we've, uh, um, you know, I've been in the trades now for 40 years. Uh, we've been married for 30 years, 29 of those years. We've worked together 24-7. <laughs> 28 of those years, um, we've actually owned businesses, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. and gone, gone through all this. Mm-hmm. And so when we say, you know, I'm just not throwing just simple things out here. Right. I mean, there's simple things to do, mm-hmm. but it's like, well, no, and, and there's some kind of like special pill <laughs> or there's some kind of, you know, incar- you know incantation, you know, we got to <laughs> say, you know, um, you know, what, what, you know what I mean? Some mm-hmm. kind of special thing we got to do or mm-hmm. can't, you know, it's not that simple. Mm-hmm. It is this simple. Mm-hmm. Weekly planning meeting. Weekly planning meeting. Weekly planning meeting. So, guys, it's just, it's a thing that you have right. to have in stone. Um, it, it, you, it's just as important as any plumbing job that needs to be done. It's just as important as it's any, more any so. other important or any other appointment. It, it is that important. Right. Um, and then you know that's when it's going to be. Ladies, you are going to have to be the one to plan it. If I'm talking to, you know, a couple that owns a business um, together, ladies, you are going to have to be the one to say, we're going to have a planning meeting. Let's look at our schedule and figure out what makes the most sense. It could be, you know, on a Tuesday at lunch. It could be on a Thursday um, at the end of the day. It could be on a Sunday afternoon. Whatever it is, you guys have to decide based on your lifestyle and, and where you guys are with your family. Um, but, ladies, you're going to have to be the one to do it. Put it on the calendar, whatever shared calendar. Hopefully, you guys are sharing a calendar, whatever shared calendar that you've got, and that's in stone. It can't be like, oh, I'm really busy today. I've, I've got to get payroll done. or And that's one thing to think about, right? Don't, don't um, schedule the meeting on a day that you know you've got specific things that have to be done because yeah. then it'll everything else will always take precedence so s- schedule on a time where you typically you don't have you know something going on that's why we scheduled ours on a friday mm-hmm. because even company wise things were just dying down mm-hmm. you know people, guys everyone's attitude is looking forward to the weekend mm-hmm. and all that so it's, and it planned it and then it kind of set us for set the us, next week set us up for the next week mm-hmm. and got got us out of there because we got at first it was only like an hour but then we started making it, you know, and it would be planned over like, you know, three in the afternoon or mm-hmm. four. And then we would leave. Uh, I started making it earlier. <laughs> be like lunch. So we could go to the beer and wing place mm-hmm. and we'd have this, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, start our date night, mm-hmm. you know, that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. But it's so important, you know, because we hear all the time, well, we're talking. There's a sense that, well, through the week we're talking, we're talking, we're, we're, we're working mm-hmm. together. And then right. at night we're talking about it. No, you're not. Those aren't planning meetings. No. Okay, you're ju- you're just firing at one another, even if you're doing it nicely. Okay, you're you're just you're just passing one another and I throwing something out. And nothing, right. Mm-hmm. With the planning meeting, what what that allows you to do is to be focused on what each other is bringing to the table mm-hmm. and the way they bring it to the table. So, for example, um, you know, Laura is she's a list person, and so which we find a lot of our ladies are list people. Okay, I love my list. So I love so, my list so much. So ladies, if you can relate, if I have, you know, got a list of things and then I do something that's not on my list, right? Of course, I put it on the list so that I can check it off. 
Right. Because of course, who wouldn't do that? I, Ladies, okay, drop something in the I comments if you it. totally agree with that. <laughs> but I'm not in the list either. <laughs> that is why when we come, if, you know, when we would, you come in the office and you just, okay, we've got to work on what about this? And what about this? And what about this? And you got this and you got that. And I'm like, what the, I'm, I'm being machine gunned here. <laughs> okay. I just wasn't in a state of mind mm -hmm. for that. But with our planning meeting, I'm ready for her to come with her list. Bam, 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 bam. I've emotionally got myself set. Plus, I've had a beer or two <laughs> which gets, <laughs> and something to eat. And the guys, you know, I mean. Yeah, I'm, you're you a know, simple guy. Okay, all right. <laughs> guys are simple. Okay. All right. What you are not is someone that wants to, you, not that you're not, but you're not a visionary. No. Or like with the ideas, or I think we should do this with our stock in the truck. So whatever the idea we would have, mm. it's first of all, it's like, why are we thinking about that right now? Mm. And then if you do think about it, then you go into your list. Okay, right. to do that, I got to do this and this and this and this and this. So she's not, in a, just in passing, like, you know, at, at uh, you know, two o'clock on Tuesday, I, I come by by her, her office or desk or whatever and say, hey, here's what, I think we got to do this with the stock mm -hmm. and it'd be easier for the guys and then we could work this in the system and that kind of thing. And so she's like, what? Well, I'm just throwing up on her. It's her, her mind. She's not in a state of mind to handle the way I'm coming at her. Well, and typically it would be I'm on the phone with someone, you know, I'm, I'm getting trying to get payroll done or whatever. I've got, you know, two employees that need to talk to me or whatever. And then you come in like, babe, 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 I've got this great idea. I've got this wonderful idea I want to talk to you about. Right. right. And I'm like, I'm going to shoot you right in the face. Right. I don't have time and for then, that because I'm then, not prepared. Right. And in both, and in both ways, then our personalities come out. Mm -hmm. When you're machine gunning me, it's like, what? Don't control me. Don't right. Yeah. Don't don't yeah. <laughs> don't don't manhandle control, me. Yeah, don't manhandle me. Don't control me. Don't you know. Mm -hmm. and, and then when I'm thrown up on you, it's like what? I don't have time. And, and I don't I don't get the emotion back from her. Like mm -hmm. that's a great idea. <laughs> and it's like then I'm now I'm mad at her. Right. You know. Don't you see how wonderful this idea is? Right. No, I don't. So say, right now. Right, right. No, I don't. Don't. Mm -hmm. So with a planning meeting, you're both prepared mm -hmm. to receive each other in in that manner. Right. And, and receive because you know that's what we're here for okay that's the purpose what, what's your list mm -hmm. okay what's your great idea right and yeah. typically what what i recommend ladies is let the husband go first because normally again he's a visionary he wants to talk about you know a, some big picture something whatever it might be let let him go first because he needs to get that out he needs to get it out of his brain um because if you start if you go first and you've got the lists He's half listening because he's like, I just want to get to my great idea that I want to talk to you about, right? Let, let him go first. Let him go. Talk it out. And here's the tough part. And I, I did not do this great at all in the beginning was when um, Richard, even during planning meetings, would give me ideas. I immediately went into, um, again, I think I just mentioned that I'm, I'm a problem finder, right? I, I find holes in things or I find how something may not work. And it's not a great quality, but whatever. Um, and so he would give me the, uh, the ideas and I would immediately go into, um, well, how am I going to make this work, right? What are all the steps that, that need to go into getting this thing accomplished? And so I go into finding all the holes, finding all the problems, and then I would not ask great questions. And then he would feel like, well, don't you get my big idea? You know, this is going to be so good for all these reasons. So I had to learn to ask clarifying questions um, as opposed to telling him how this idea was not going to work. Um, and so, well, uh, you know. Well, I recall hearing the word <laughs> suck. A few times. <laughs> that's the stupidest idea yes, I've ever right. heard. That'll never work. Yes. I may have said that a few times. Um, but ask clarifying questions. Just say, when he tells you the idea, you just say, okay, let me just make sure I heard you right. Or um, can you clarify this or clarify that or whatever it is. Try not to, as hard as you can, try not to go into into your brain on what are all the tasks that need to be done so that I can make this work. Um, hear the idea, just kind of walk, walk through mm -hmm. what it might be. And then from that, if you guys decide, yeah, this is a good idea to implement, then think about, okay, who's going to be responsible for what to get this thing off the ground. Right. Mm -hmm. And so you're both in the mindset to do that. Mm -hmm. And also we, we took that time to, on the family things as well. Look at the what, calendar for the upcoming for the kid, What do we have going on, where the kids need to get to, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of a thing. And then mm -hmm. on both so that's a business and family at that point, then we both commit. Okay. Here's a, here's our plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to work on this with the bill. Okay. Yeah. We're going to work on that idea. Okay. I'll get these three things mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And so then by the time we come around to the next week, do we get these things done? There's right. some accountability. Mm -hmm. We would have gone over to the things. Okay. We were going to work on this this week. Do we right. get it done? Where are we at? That kind of a thing. Right. All right. It's so important and vital. Yes. And so I would use an app, some, some sort of app or something that, that you guys share where you can drop in ideas. I know like, um, one of our, um, 
coaches, the Baldwins, they just have a note like on your on um, if you've got an Apple, the note section. You go in and do a shared note and just start dropping in. So so when you think of something through the week, especially you guys, mm-hmm. when you think of something through the week, you just go drop it in there. Just go drop it in so that you don't go into your wife's you know office or go to her desk and you know want to that you just need to hurry up and get the idea out of your head, right? Yeah, yeah I, just, I, I use Evernote. You, Richard uses Evernote. Evernote. Um, but just do that, and even if you have to talk it, like if you need if you are someone that likes to talk things out, do an audio note to yourself. But then at least you get it out. You um, it's there so that you can remember what you don't want to do is land at the planning meeting and go, man, I had so many things to talk to you about and I've forgotten them all. Right. Because maybe the morning sucked or whatever. And, and now you, you've forgotten. Put put those in some sort of note that you guys share. And then at the meeting, open up that app, whatever app that you use and kind of start going through the list. Oh, OK, this is what I want to talk about. And, and then um, you've got it there. But again, do it through the week so you don't forget. There we go. Mm-hmm. Weekly planning meeting. And it takes intentionality. Sorry, I'm going on. Inten- you have to be intentional. The only way this is going to work is if you're intentional. Um, it can't just be this haphazard, well, we'll get to it sometime or whatever, because there is going to be everything that's going to get in the way. Every week. Every every day, every week. every There's always going to be something. You own a business, and more than likely you have kids and you've got a family. So every week there's going to be something that's going to get in the way. So you have to, you absolutely have to be intentional about making sure that you, you keep the planning meeting. With our clients, when we find out they're struggling, if we're working through something, one of the things we'll, we'll find out is that they've stopped doing their weekly planning meeting. Because mm-hmm. it's so easy to drop it. Right. Because you're talking, you, know, you see each other at night, mm-hmm. sleep together, Right. you know, you get up in the morning. I mean, you think, okay, and we, and we talk about these things. We talk about business all the time, right. which is okay, mm-hmm. which yes. is, which is okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're not talking about it and actually putting a plan together mm-hmm. and, and having the time to really hear one another in a structured way. And, and away from, yeah, right. away from the chaos of the office or, right. or whatever. The business. On that, we recommend yes. going away from the office. Yes. For you know, your I, planning I didn't say meeting. that. I mentioned mm-hmm. the, my beer and wing place that we mm-hmm. take for granted, you know, <laughs> or someplace like that. Mm-hmm. You want to be out away, away from the office, mm-hmm. away from the shop, away from the normal place. Away it from needs the to be a place and, yeah, where it just allows you to kind of relax or um, you know, be in a different environment. Be in a different environment, exactly. Right. Um, yeah, coffee shop, whatever it may be, someplace, yep. you know, local that you can go and can have some, at least some sort of, you know, a feeling of, of being away. Um, and then go there, you know, each time. Or if, you know, go every week, maybe plan someplace different if you guys like different things or whatever. But it does have to be away from the office. Yes, and weekly. Yes. Okay, mm-hmm. planning meeting. <laughs> All right. Hey, we'll take a little break here because I have something for you. All right. And it's also very important. Check it out. <laughs> Hey, Plumbing Pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plum like a champion. Okay, welcome back. Hi. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, we're talking about three things that you can do or must do. Must do. When building. You got to do it. Your home service business with your spouse. Yes. So, guys, if you are watching us out on um, YouTube, please give us a like, a thumbs up, um, subscribe, get notified when we go live. You don't want to miss another episode or any episode for sure. Also... Um, if you haven't yet, go check out um, the new MDP show podcast called The Coach's Corner. We've got two of our very own coaches, Matt Baldwin and, and Tony Wally, that are, are leading cool that cats. leading that um, podcast mm-hmm. called The Coach's Corner. They are um, MDP coaches, um, plumbing business owners in their own right, and um, now have successful plumbing businesses after going through the MDP system. So Coach's Corner, um, it is in the um, the MDP YouTube channel, so you can find it there. Also, you can find it just right alongside our other um, podcasts on whatever podcast player you're listening to. Right. So check yeah, them out. Check good them stuff out. there. They are good. All right, but we're mm-hmm. glad to have you here mm-hmm. with us here on Potty Talk. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. As we're talking about three things you must do when building a home service business mm-hmm. or plumbing business with in our case spouse. with your spouse. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very powerful. All right. Number mm-hmm. one, we said you got to define roles, find the roles, got to find those roles. Mm-hmm. All right. Two, have a weekly planning meeting. Mm-hmm. So important. We hit that. We could go on about that. I mean, mm-hmm. I felt I could, I could feel your, your mama coach came, came alive <laughs> there because it is one of those things. It's so vital to your business. I just wish and you guys would listen to us on this. And we know, 
only a few, a small percentage will, right? Right. Um, but, you know, what is like, you know, is it Grant or somebody who's Grant Cardone or somebody else? Like, I can give you all the things to do because right. I, I can say them all day long. Um, you know, give you away secrets or whatever because I know most of, I know it's uh, Gary V. I think Gary. that says it. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell you all day That's, long, but yeah. I know most of you aren't going to do it. You're not going to do it. So I'll tell you what to do, but you're, right. you're not going to do it you're anyways. Do That's it. why, you know. Mm -hmm. But right. so help us help you guys. We were, we were exactly where you are in your plumbing business. We were, we, we did, we did everything wrong. We, we started everything wrong. We made all the mistakes, all of that. Um, but a planning meeting, a weekly planning meeting, if you guys are in business together, and even if you're not, you know, the wife does have a career outside the home or whatever, just a family planning meeting every week. So that you guys are all are on the same page instead of two ships passing in the night. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. And then finally, the, the third thing, and this mm -hmm. is also very, very vital and important to do, and it's, and it's going to sound so fluffy. Mm -hmm. All right. And it's this date night <laughs> or date day, whatever it or is, date. date, 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 but a scheduled weekly mm -hmm. date night yes. or time to, where, where you where guys, you, you take your girlfriend out. Okay. And you mm -hmm. go be boyfriend and girlfriend. Yes. Girls right. get cleaned up, get out of the sweats. Right, I get it. If you're if you're home with kids, and sometimes you're just going to be lucky to get a shower, I totally get it. Um, but if you are going to go out on a date, le at least get somewhat cleaned up, right? Wash your hair, put on something different than the sweats, um, make an effort, just like you did. I'm sure when you were dating, especially in the beginning of when you were dating, you made an effort. You didn't just roll out of bed, throw something on the that was on the floor, and then like, oh, okay, well, we're going to go on our second date. I wonder how he thinks about me now. Right, uh, and guys, <laughs> come on, guys, st stop, stop with the the, the cool too cool for school. When you are first dating your wife, first of all, you're, if she married you, you're lucky to have her. <laughs> Guys, I know, I know you. Okay. <laughs> I know you. All right. You we know, know you. All right. I, I know you. I know me. Okay. We're lucky to, to have our wives. Okay. And when you were first going after her, you, you were aware, very aware of how you looked, what you were wearing, um, how your truck was, or you pick your car, <laughs> whatever, whatever you're driving at the time. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. What's um, the song that Tim McGraw does? Um, said, I like it. I love it. I think uh, where he talks about, you know, he's got cleaned up. He's yeah. mop, sweeping his floors. Like he's never done just it to before. Watch TV, right. Even yeah. just to watch TV. Yeah, I've heard to come over and watch and TV. Clean up the house, just to right. watch TV mm -hmm. or whatever. <laughs> right. That, that's, that's, that's what we did. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need to, you need to continue to pursue your girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's not wife. She, uh, that's why I like to use the phrase well, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, the, the boyfriend, girlfriend thing. You're woman, right. Mm -hmm. not, not like you've captured her, okay? And now I don't have to put any effort you into it. You don't have it. to put effort in it, okay? Mm -hmm. This is what, um, this is not, not only, well, it's, it's very good for your, your personal relationship. Mm -hmm. um, of course. Because you're working closely together and through the stress and all those kinds of things and the family. And by the way, the kids do leave. Eventually. Okay, that, that's another discussion. When okay. they get older, they're supposed to leave. Right, all right, they are supposed to leave. No, <laughs> they don't live in your house. Guy, guys, don't have your sons living in your house when they're 25. Oh my gosh. They're 18, get their butt out of the house, <laughs> yeah, okay? Yeah. They need to move on. They move on, I mean, our sister, man, we just that's, that's why I think God made teenagers, teenagers is just so annoying, right? <laughs> right? And just where you wanna kill them, so that by the time they roll around to when they're 18, you're ready for them to go away. Now, you may have little kids right now, you know, four, five, seven, they just they're think so you're, you're the like greatest puppies, things. Right? Right? I never want them to leave my house. No, no, no. You haven't had teenagers yet. Teenagers yet. There will be a time where they become so annoying that you can't stand it anymore and you're so ready and for them okay to leave. it's okay that you want them to leave. Yes. Because that's how, that's life. That, right. that doesn't mean you don't love them. Mm -hmm. You should want them to leave. Get <laughs> out of my house. All right. Go get your own house. All right. And it's a beautiful thing, by the way. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful if you've done these things to keep the relationship alive. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's also very good for business. Again, having the date night. Mm -hmm. Because it, it keeps you, it's your force, the two of you that, that are building this thing, okay? And, and it is, it's, you know, you're in the battle through the week, it's okay, stressful. and in the time. And so you're both, you're both in, in, you know, war mode, not necessarily with each other, but you're Hopefully getting not. things done. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's pleasant and nice. Other times, you know. There's less when, stress. Right, it's stress. You're dealing with customers, your employees, your systems, stuff going on. It's just, it's, it's, it's not meant to be fun, this All whole thing, of like, well, you know, our new, you know, the kids nowadays, everything has to be fun yeah. and about them. Yeah, I when, when, when was work, work, work's not fun. <laughs> For the most part, it's not. You know, one of the greatest lies, and it's going, it's out there with the gurus, mm -hmm. do something you love. Yeah. Do something. That's one of the greatest lies out there from the pit of hell. Okay. 
Do something you love. Buy something that well, you, love. you know what I love doing? Sitting by the pool all day long, drinking my beer. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it sounds like I mean, I'm really am a redneck. <laughs> it sounds that way, you know. Mm. Or my tequila. There we go. Okay. Sipping on your tequila. And I, that's what I'd love that's what to I do. Love doing. I love laying next to you when we're doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I, can we get a job doing that? Uh, nope. <laughs> Jobs are okay. It's not all fun. Now, there's times in every work where it's which just, rewarding which and rewarding, satisfying, right? Yes. And you're in the groove and mm-hmm. it feels good. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, it's not. Right. That's just how it's it is. It's not meant to be fun. It's, that's right. why they call it work. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you're in that environment. That's what you do. Both are in. Mm-hmm. Okay. With your date night or date time together, you get to remind, hey, we're, mm-hmm. you know, oh yeah, I, used I to like, like you. I, I, yeah, you're cute. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, hey, yeah. baby. <laughs> okay, right. You know, and, and you, that you really, you, that you're your best friends mm-hmm. and your boyfriend and girlfriend. And yeah, you're, that's there. Okay. It's like, again, like when you first started dating, um, you started dating for a reason. And we, you found there was an attraction there. You like something about the person physically or their personality or whatever it might be. Right. right? That That's still there. That person is still there. You may have some you know, road underneath you from you know being married for however long, but it's still there. Um, and so you have to cultivate that. You have to. And, you, and the other the same word comes to comes to mind. Intentional. You yes. have to be intentional about it, because if not. It, it will just become, well, my old ball and chain or the right. old man or blah, 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 blah right? That, that's easy. Having a marriage like that, that's easy. There, right. There's no effort that goes into that. Yeah. The, there's the, no the effort. Men, the men are they're bad guys. Don't be bad mouthing and putting down your wife or in, in public and, and that kind <sighs> of thing. And, and those kinds of things. That that is easy. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's easy. Um, like to checking have. out other women, being on the sites. Don't be looking at all the crap. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, all that energy needs to be focused towards your queen, mm-hmm. all right, where you're building this kingdom with, okay? Mm-hmm. And you do that, you'll, you know, it, it is, you'll, you'll achieve everything you want to achieve, mm-hmm. and you'll also have a life, mm-hmm. you know? and A life that's worth right. living, a relationship that's worth having, a relationship that other people look at and, and are envious. It's like, how, how did you do it? How, you guys work together all the time. You got kids. How, how, how is that possible? Um, again, it comes from intentionality, being intentional about having a weekly date night. It becomes intentional about how do you show up to that date night. Um, right. It becomes intentional about what do you talk about on date night. And guys, it's okay to talk business, business. high level, not did you get this invoice paid or did you right. hear about Joe or tech who blah, 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 whatever it might be, right? It needs to be more high level. Um, find, you know, there's tons of um, apps or, and, and websites where you can pull up and say, you know, 50 first date questions, go through those. We, we still do things still, like that. Yeah. Um, another um, podcast and actually good friends of ours that we follow um, is called One Extraordinary Marriage. One Extraordinary Marriage podcast. And it's a husband and wife, Tony and Elisa DiLorenzo. Um, they actually spoke at our last um, retreat. Um, and it's on um, marriage. It talks about marriage. And they specifically talk about um, the pillars of marriage and one being sexual intimacy, right? Um, and they, they have some great resources out on their website and in their podcast, which I highly recommend following. Yeah, check um, it out. It is very good. But they have different cool. resources yeah. about um, what it, questions that you can ask each other or, or things that you can do on date night that, that kind of stirs things up a bit or, or changes things. Um, but you know, even if you do go out and search 50, 50 first date questions and you Google that, pull those up and then you'll have a lot of fun. There's also um, 50, like 50 first date um, flirty questions or something, right? So you can get a little, yeah. um, get a little, what's the word? Um, you know, get a little, sexy. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to keep it clean. Yeah. And you're married for heaven's right. sakes. Right. You're married. That's where, that's where it belongs, by <laughs> the way. Right. That's, that's the time to get, uh, mm-hmm. get sexy. That's right. You know? So do things like that. That's something different. Um, or find something too, you know, dinner and a movie is always kind of the same. Well, not movies anymore because they all suck. Um, but find something that's right. unique. Go ax throwing. Go if you've got a top golf in your area or if you like outdoors, obviously go, go, you know, go um, um, find a trail or whatever it might be. It doesn't have to be the same thing every time. And you do have to become intentional about what you do for date night. Yeah. And guys, you got, you got to put your energy there. Mm-hmm. You know, I, you know, we're kind of going off the deep end here, but you know, love is, you know, um, love is not a noun. Okay. Love is a verb. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's action. It's intentional. So to say this thing, I'm falling out of love and all that, that's all be it. That's for lots of selfishness. Mm-hmm. That is just total immature selfishness I'm to say, well, I'm fa- I've fallen out of love with mm-hmm. her or I'm not, you know, I'm not attracted to her anymore. I mean, mm-hmm. that's just, that's just BS. And that's lazy. Right. That's total laziness. Okay? So it's, you know, it takes intentionality. And when you do so, 
It doesn't take a lot of intentionality. Mm-hmm. That's that's kind of the beautiful thing about it. There's a little um, bit, but a little just, bit of but, effort, but a little bit, one percent. You guys listen to me any length of time. You know, I'm all, all about one percent. Not this this thing of crushing it. The gurus out there saying crush it. Most people don't crush it. No, it's not. It's not really part of our right for an extended period of time. That's right. not possible. But you can do one percent, one percent, one percent, one percent, one percent. Being intentional, one percent at a time. It, it, it adds up. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, date night. Okay. Night. Or date day or date, whatever, whatever it might be. You guys figure that out for yourself, whatever, whatever makes the most sense. But having that time to where you really are getting back to being boyfriend and girlfriend of where you just enjoy each other's company because, um, you, you love each other. You're, you're married for a reason. And like, like you said, babe, you know, the kids are eventually going to leave. You don't want to look at each other and go, now, who are you? Why did I like you? You know, all of a sudden and you're looking at each other going, Rrr. So yeah. mm-hmm. life's not, uh, your, your life doesn't revolve around the kids. I mean, it I, it's kind of fun being looking at now this the side know, of the, it, the side of things. Mm-hmm. We love, we love our kids. Mm-hmm. Hey, don't, don't get in the way of uh, the lovely Laura here. She becomes unlovely <laughs> and the kids. Okay. So <laughs> don't say, of, yeah, yeah, don't my kids. Right. Don't well, all, all moms. Feel that all way. Mom, so I'm saying you have yeah. the mom thing. Yes. But it's, it's, but it's good being now sixties, mm-hmm. you know, having raised in the family and, and all that and having made the mistakes and looking back what worked, what didn't work mm-hmm. and seeing where our society is going and the saying of, we switched it, you know, it's, it's honor your mother and your father. That's yes. what God said. Mm-hmm. That makes for a good, healthy family. Mm-hmm. And it will honor go well with you. And go mm-hmm. well, honor your mother and father. Mm-hmm. Our society has turned it to um, honor your son and daughter. Right. I mean, we got all the sports stuff and the kids, you're Why all you're divided. You're going a thousand miles, you're a hundred miles, literally a hundred miles away from mm-hmm. one another because you're mm-hmm. going to, you know, some sport that a kid's never going to play. I mean, one as percent, they, yeah, as prof- not making any or even college, co- even mm-hmm. co- right? Um, and like, I'm saying, there's nothing wrong with the sports. The kids need to be into something to keep them out mm-hmm. of, you know, and whatever. Um, but it just, it's you know, we, we just have made our kids these these little idols, mm-hmm. you know, and that's not how how it's meant to be. No, it is not. It's no. it's about the two of you. And the kids are a blessing. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And they are they are meant to cut grass. <laughs> to do dishes, okay, <laughs> right? Oh, that, that's and, also true. And to be seen and not heard, okay? <laughs> Children to be seen and oh, not man. heard. Since, since when now? When we have, <laughs> no, no, since no, since no, when does no, a high school kid <laughs> now tell us, you know, <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself? Mm. You know, what's well, the one? Oh, Greta, somebody. Greta, Greta yeah. whatever. Or any a kid, like we're listening to our kids, like mm-hmm. they know what they're talking about. <sighs> no. No, you don't. Shut up. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Golly, shut up. You know? Have some life experience before you, whatever. Oh, man, I know. <laughs> it's like getting coaching from someone who hasn't um, been around um, for quite a long period of time. Or, you know, coaching, like you know, even marriage coaching or something. There's a lot of marriage coaches out there, and, you know, they've been married They're for 25. all 25. They yeah. look cute. They're super They're cute, cute. Cute little couple. Yeah. They don't even own a dog. Don't even own a dog. <laughs> right. And they don't even have kids. And right. all of a sudden, they're giving marriage advice. That just absolutely cracks me up. <laughs> or taking marriage advice from someone that's been divorced, oh, I don't know, four or five times. Right. So they're going to get it right once at some point. They are, are obviously... Um, Experts on getting married. On getting married, I guess the pro- <laughs> right of right. right that kind of a thing, but uh, yeah, but staying married and keep mm-hmm. actually mm-hmm. having a relationship. Yeah, don't talk to me. You know, if you, advice: if you don't have kids, if you haven't gone through um, yeah, business major major business struggles where you've almost lost the business, yeah, right. but until you've gone through some of those things, um, yeah, you, yeah, you can't speak on it. So that's where these come <laughs> from. So that, that's a good way to kind of you know as we wrapping Wrap things up. As I'm looking at this list and as we're speaking here, it sounds. These things sound so like like they don't matter. Define mm-hmm. roles. Oh, okay, right. yeah. You know what? Mm-hmm. Planning meetings. Oh, yeah. You gotta have meetings in business. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Date night. Date, mm-hmm. date night. Yeah. I guess we'll go out and grab a pizza or whatever. <laughs> I mean, it, it sounds like. I mean, it, it sounds so mm-hmm. um, simplistic. Yeah. Or, or that they're not important. They're not yeah, important. I know what you're saying. Mm-hmm. But they are. We can tell you from now again. Thirty years of marriage. Mm-hmm. Twenty nine. Twenty. You know, mm-hmm. twenty nine of those years we worked really together 24 mm-hmm. seven. Okay. Yep. Having owned, own actually owned businesses, mm-hmm. 28 of those years. Lost, lost, lost. We've had some major losses, right? right? We've had major um, kid issues. We've had major marriage issues. We've talked, talked about yeah. that before. We were almost divorced at um, about year three. Within, um, right, yeah. yeah. Hated each other um, because of all the business struggles. Because um, we, and we weren't doing all, any of these oh, things. We weren't doing any of those things. That's what this stuff so, can, right. That's mm-hmm. the, the, the far end that it can lead to not doing these things. Correct. Yeah. Okay. We, we were almost divorced. It was, you know, um, yeah, so grace the, of God and 
Right. A lot of counseling. So. Oh, these are extremely, extremely important things yes. to know and to do. For sure. All right. If you're, mm-hmm. you know, if you're looking to build your plumbing business with your spouse. That's one of my favorite okay. episodes where we get to talk about um, working together. Oh. Um, and plumbing yeah, power couples so are powerful. pro power couples. It's so rewarding. Life, mm-hmm. I can tell you guys at this, at this end of my life, and there's plenty of lot to go. There's nothing hotter, sexier, um, fun than knowing that I've been with my best friend, my better other, you know, um, through all the battles. All, I mean, good and bad, mm-hmm. all the wins and all the losses. Right. Okay. The losses all are really the, the ones that kind of strengthen you the most. Right. The life. Mm-hmm. Okay. It is so powerful and rewarding to be on this side of the game, mm-hmm. you know, and, and experience what we are now. So yeah. that, that's what we want for you guys. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And we also want with you guys, we want you to be successful. And if you want to know more Absolutely. about, you know, you know, th- these kinds of things, important of working together, but also the other concepts and systems and techniques that you need to take your, your uh, home service business to the next level. Mm-hmm. All right. Then, uh, you know, you need to check out the Success Academy. You do. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, you can check it out. We have a 14-day free trial. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or you can schedule a uh, time to, to speak with one of our success coaches. Mm-hmm. All right. There's no heavy sales push here. I'm not trying to sell you anything. <laughs> okay. This is if, if you're looking. Okay. Here, here's, you know, here's an option here for you. All right. Yeah. Simply go to the milliondollarplumber.com forward slash success. Yeah. So um, another thing too, in the Success Academy, we've got, um, in each, we've got 12 different modules in each mm. one. We've got a plumbing power couple or pro power oh, couple yeah. um, video where Richard and I talk about all these types of issues, right? On not only working together, but um, just life things um, and how to have a, the, the freedom lifestyle, which MDP, um, that's, that's our biggest thing is if we want to have a, the freedom lifestyle. So awesome. we teach yes. on that. Yeah. Yes. Ultimately, that's what MDP is all about here. Mm-hmm. It's not only building a successful self-sustaining that means it can run on its own mm-hmm. and very profitable home service business, but also being able to have a life too. And what life we too. call the freedom lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Okay. That this business doesn't become, you know, you don't become a slave to this business or it becomes a prison for you, mm-hmm. or you just simply own your job. Right. Okay. You create this asset. Mm-hmm. All right. That, that creates great wealth for you, both financially and time. Mm-hmm. Okay. And most ultimately, creates the life that you desire. Exactly. Okay. So we do talk about that quite a bit in the Success Academy as well. So just not all business things or there are other life um, things that we, we touch on as well. So, all right. So, mm-hmm. all right. To learn more, go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash success. All right. Okay. Fun episode. Hey, this was a fun one. Yeah, this is a powerful one. Us. This is an emotional one. Mm-hmm. I mean, we feel, I know we were here to talk business and this kind of stuff, but this is very important to your business. Mm-hmm. Very important to your business. Mm-hmm. And it's also fun being together yes. with the spouse. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Highly recommended. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created. And you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.